Glass fusing is the process of joining compatible sheet glasses together in a kiln until the pieces merge together to create colorful works of art. Fused glass is used to fabricate plates, tiles, bowls, jewelry, wall hangings, and other artistic creations. Unlike many other glass forms, glass fusing allows you as much time as you need to bring your designs to life since you are working with the glass while it is cold. You only need a kiln and a few simple tools to create a finished fused glass piece. You can fuse glass from home if you have a kiln and the appropriate glass cutting tools. However, as a beginner, taking a glass fusing class with the guidance of an experienced glass artist is necessary both for your safety and to create the highest quality work. Assemble materials and tools needed to cut glass. Prepare your kiln shelf with a kiln wash or line the shelf with firing paper. Soda lime glass is commonly used for fusing because of the temperature range of the kiln and the great amount of accessory glass available for design application. Cut the glass into desired shapes. You may want to grind down the edges to create cleaner lines, but this is optional. Make sure the glass is clean with no smudges or fingerprints. If your glass is dirty when it goes into the kiln, smudges can fire into the glass, leaving a mark on the piece. Assemble the project in the kiln, making certain that the piece is not too close to the edge of the shelf or adjacent projects. If assembling your glass into a complicated design, we recommend tacking pieces together with a small amount of glue. Applying too much will leave residue after firing, but a small touch helps ensure that your design remains intact when transporting your pieces into the kiln. Fire the kiln to the appropriate temperature and firing schedule. Soda lime glass fuses between 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit and 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the glass and the size and thickness of the project, it can take anywhere from 3 to 4 hours for smaller pieces and up to 13 to 14 hours for larger pieces. After fusing, the glass must be cooled slowly and annealed at 900 to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit to relieve stress that builds up during the firing process. Before removing your piece from the kiln, check to see that the glass is completely cool. Fused glass can be slumped into a shape such as a bowl or drinking container. If your fused glass is going to be slumped, check the edges for any rough or sharp points. If you find any sharp edges that need grinding, start from the backside with a grinder or diamond hand pad before working your way forward. If the piece is to be slumped, Place it carefully on the mold and fire to slumping temperature. Otherwise, the piece is finished and ready for display or to be used. Make sure you hand wash any fused glass and handle it with care. Be sure to visit the Crucible's website for more industrial arts guides. Learn techniques like torchworking, blacksmithing, and pottery at thecrucible.org.